Paris, London, New York. All the cities that come to mind when you hear the words Michelin star. Yet this small restaurant located in Stockport Town Centre was awarded a prestigious Green Michelin Star Award in January off the back of a very tough year for the hospitality industry. Um, certainly an, an indication of moving in the right direction. The team were really proud, um, especially in this in this pandemic that we've been struggling. It's a really strange time. It was quite a, it's quite a joyous moment for us at the moment. In the past 12 months, where the light gets in has only been able to open for four months and on the 17th of May it will be opening its doors for the first time since early November. Obviously turbulent in the end of but today actually uh, we've, we've started back the full team getting ready to reopen as a restaurant again so we've survived. Uh... The 17th of May will only come as a small relief to where the light gets in. They pride themselves off the customer experience of showing the customer around the restaurant so they can see the beauty of it. This won't be allowed under the current restrictions. When guests come to the restaurant, they're normally invited into the lounge yeah. first and they were broth when we talked to them about what to expect. Yeah. We, we had to get rid of the lounge. Head chef Sam Munsterman has also been left frustrated by the coronavirus restrictions. We as guests uh, thrive on having people come to our doors and uh, that we can feed for them to have some enjoyment in what we do. And without having that, without having that connection, that interaction with people, you know, it's hard. To... It's been a year of highs and lows for Sam Buckley and where the light gets in. The elation of a Green Michelin Star Award and the devastation of the coronavirus restrictions which have had such a devastating impact on the hospitality industry. There seems to be light at the end of the tunnel with lockdown restrictions easing on the 17th of May. But with their restaurant being so dedicated to the customer experience, the devastation may continue.